That's such a good quote. What what did he what did he say here? Wait, let's let's go back. I th I think he he dropped a gem a gem that I don't think he actually realized. Well, we're gonna go we're gonna we'll go back and watch the entire thing, but I'm, I need to find this quote. What is going on, guys? It is JJ here, back with a new video and a sad one at that. Today we're going to take a look at the F1 video confirming the one and only Sebastian Vettel's retirement. Um, I'm 100% sure it'll be at the end of the season. He's going to finish out the season with Aston Martin, pretty much opening up a seat for whoever's going to come next. Who do you guys think is going to replace Sebastian Vettel on the Aston Martin team? I don't really know. Obviously, they're going to join Lance Stroll. So, and Lance Stroll at this rate, he's been in F1 since what, 2017, 2018 as well? So I feel like you could call him a veteran driver. It's been, what, four or five years, right? Or maybe 2019. I don't know when Lance Stroll got into F1. Um, but losing Sebastian Vettel, I think it's just a hit for the sport in general. It's like Nico Rosberg. Um, I think Vettel has, still has so much to give. I think he still has so, so much to give to the sport. And it's a little disappointing to see him do this, but he's a family man. He has a lot of causes outside of F1 that he absolutely loves to support and loves to be a part of. And it's gonna be really, really depressing to see him go. Um, but we're gonna take a look and just listen and watch into his, into his retirement video on the F1 page. Let me know what you guys think, or maybe your favorite Sebastian Vettel moment. Let me know it down in the comments below so we can go take a look at it on the channel. Um, we can do a Funniest Moments video, we can do a race, we can do anything. So, let me know what you guys think. But yeah, let's get into the video. As well, guys, you can find the original video down in the description below. Sebastian, um, big day for you. I guess first you join social media, so maybe that's yeah. the big news of the day. Yeah. Did he not have a single social media platform? Oh, that's so. That's honestly, that's cute. That's cute. Um, Somehow he's got news, one. Sad news that you're leaving Formula One. Um, can you just talk me through how tough a decision that was? I've obviously heard your statement, but I've interviewed you for many years. It must have been a tough call to make. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, it's probably still very difficult to grasp the size of the decision because this is the life I know. This is uh, the life I knew since I was a child. Um, and it he started with Lewis, didn't he? Security just to know that, you know, when the season starts, when the season ends, where the next race is. Um, there's a so certain routine in that, even though every race is different, it's a different challenge and so on and so on. But it's probably also true that, you know, I've done this so long, I have so much experience, it's not so difficult to just carry on. Um, but my way of or interpretation of doing this is doing it at 100%. Um, I know how much I, how much I can give uh, and dedicate um, to this sport in order to also you know achieve the things I want to achieve, and it also takes a lot of time and time mm -hmm. that uh, you have to you know probably the beginning take away from nowhere else because there's nothing else. But since I grow and things grow around me, my children are growing. It's time away from them uh, and time away maybe from other interests that I, that I've grown. And at some point you reach a point where it starts to feel maybe not so clear about the next year. And the truth is it's been a process over, you know, several years. Obviously the final decision I took yesterday, I told the team, but uh, leading to that is not, you know, a race or two races or several weeks. It's more, uh, it's much more than that. So um, it is a bit uh, strange to look into the unknown. Um, and I'm also a little bit afraid of what's coming, but I guess, uh, yeah, um, I'm looking forward to it. I've actually made my decision, and um, yeah, I'm excited to see what's behind behind the corner. There's a lot of things that will stay. I mean, a lot of things I will turn, literally turn down. I will not be having the buzz of driving the cars anymore and racing, but uh, the people stay. You know, the friendships I made, the people I got to know, the memories I made. So uh, there's a lot to to take away. And yeah, generally, I'm looking forward. So looking forward to like I said, what's next. Great, stuff. That's such a good quote. What what did he what did he say here? Wait, let's let's go back. I th I think he he dropped a gem a gem that I don't think he actually realized. We're, we're gonna go we're gonna we'll go back and watch the entire thing, but I'm, I need to find this quote. Yeah, about the next year, and the truth is, it's been a process over you know several years. Obviously, the final decision I took yesterday, I told the team, but uh, leading to that is not you know a race or two races or several weeks. It's more. Uh, it's much more than that. So um, it is a bit uh, 
strange to look into the unknown. Um, it's strange to look at the unknown. I'm a bit afraid of what's coming, but I guess, uh, yeah, um, I'm looking forward to it. I actually made my decision, and um, yeah, I'm excited to see what's behind behind the corner. Is that little strange, a little, little afraid to look into the unknown, but excited to move ahead. If that's not the mentality of an F1 driver, if that's not the mentality of life in general, then I don't know what is. Like, that sums it up perfectly. Just moving, especially for Vettel, all Vettel is known is F1. It's been his whole life, not his whole life, obviously. He's not like, I mean, Fernando Alonso feels like it has been his whole life. He's been around for years and years and years. Um, I hope this isn't the end of Sebastian Vettel, to be, to be completely frank with you guys. I really do hope that in some way, shape, or form, it's just him getting some time away. Honestly, seeing Nico Hulkenberg in the beginning of the season in the Aston Martin and not Vettel was so strange. Because I, I think that was I think Vettel had COVID-19 at the start of the season, and so he was not able to drive the Aston Martin car. And it's weird to think about, because it was my first two races ever, like getting into a full F1 season. What were those two races at the beginning of the year? But at the same time, I thought this would be weird to see Vettel without it, like to have an F1 season without Vettel. But that's what 2023 is going to be. I hope he gets the proper send off. I think that's the biggest thing in my mind that I, that I wish for Sebastian Vettel. That he does get the correct send off. I don't know what that would look like, how that would like be structured, how that could feel, how that how like he could even like think or formulate that. Um, especially because sometimes it is like a swan song that turns into you know they come back. Uh, Fernando Alonso and Michael Schumacher are prime examples of that. Um, but he deserves to go out with a bang. Four titles, four years. Imagine that, like, they sign like a one-day contract where he gets to drive the Red Bull to, to go, because he came in with Toro Rosso, right? I, I think, if I'm not mistaken, it was Toro Rosso that he was driving in 2008 or 2009, and then got to join the Red Bull team. I don't, I don't, I don't quite know. I don't know if I know my F1 history that well off the top of my head, but it's gonna be sad to see you go, Sebastian Vettel. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys thought about Sebastian Vettel's retirement video. Um, He's, he does very good usually at Hungary, so it'll be very interesting to see him sort of racing this weekend and practice and with the car. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.